The internet is coming to you. Though not the way you may think. Not through your smartphone, your tablet, or your PC. But through your gloves, your clothes, your watch, or even your house. The internet is coming to you through Bluetooth. This is Blues. Now you will be able to interact with things like never before. What if your lights could turn on as you pull into the driveway? Or your door unlocks as you walk up? Or your toaster has its own Twitter feed? Or if for some reason you want wireless sandwiches? The internet requires tools, certain building blocks for products to connect. This is one of those building blocks. It connects your products to the internet wirelessly over Bluetooth low energy. Once connected to a gateway, Blues allows you to create low-cost, coin cell battery operated, internet connected devices that run for months or years at a time, all while staying online. Blues brings Bluetooth low energy to the internet, so now you can worry about your lights, your toaster, or your sandwich that will change the world. You're ready to build. Build it with Blues. Hi, I'm Eric, and I'm in New Hampshire. We developed Blues for one simple reason. We needed it for our own product. See, we ran a Kickstarter campaign for GoGloves, a wearable wireless remote. We wanted to allow our product to control anything, but with Bluetooth LE, there was no out-of-the-box option. So we made one. We paired up with Spark and allowed our product to talk to their cloud. So what about your product? Wi-Fi can work great if you're in a confined space. Cellular works anywhere if you don't mind bigger batteries and paying a little more. Bluetooth was the last connectivity option not yet available. So how does it work? <sighs> Multiple Bluetooth boards can connect to the internet through a central Wi-Fi gateway. This works great for home automation projects. Think sensors located around your house through a central hub. Blues is also great for wearables, like GoGlove. You can connect to your phone through the cellular connection to the internet. Blues is the most complete, connected Bluetooth device you can integrate into your projects. Back us today and help us make Bluetooth smarter. Everyone has creative ideas, but bringing to life ideas involving software and electronics can still be quite a challenge. Today, we're changing that. We're building a platform that enables anyone to create with software and electronics as easily as drawing a flowchart. We call it Qubit. My name is Tim. I'm a co-founder of QFusion Labs and the lead programmer on Qubit. Usually, Creating an electronic project means writing code and soldering. There's a steep learning curve just to set up an LCD screen. With Qubit, anyone can do it. Instead of writing code, you can express your logic visually. Instead of soldering, just plug in a single connector and the wiring is done. All you need is the Qubit controller, plug and play Qubit smartwares, and our drag and drop app, Qubit Workshop. Everything starts with an idea. We built Qubit from scratch, designing every software and electronic component to work seamlessly together. When you connect something to the controller, it's instantly recognized and ready to use in the workshop. If you can make a flowchart, you can make a program in workshop. Just drag and drop to control any smartware. Hit launch to send your program wirelessly to the controller and watch your vision come to life. My name is Jason Gao, and I'm a co-founder of QFusion Labs. Before Qubit, I was an electrical engineer. In second grade, my dad had taught me basic electronics and programming, and it opened up a world of new things I could create, and I've always wanted to share that experience with everyone. I'm Marvin, and I'm also co-founder of QFusion Labs. Growing up, my brother Jason was always more into hardware, and I was always more into software. We said, let's create something that would make life easier for the both of us. 
We want to make it simple to create new projects, allowing us to focus more on the ideas instead of having to solve hardware or software problems. One fun project we did, we called the Secret Bookshelf Trigger. It's like something out of Indiana Jones. There's a qubit inside that book that sends a signal wirelessly to another qubit inside a wooden chest that opens up on its own and illuminates the LED. My name is Kaife Obietkova and I'm an interaction designer. I use Qubit to work on my interactive art projects, particularly programming light and motion. It was incredibly easy to use. I didn't need to go into any of the technical details and could really focus on the design. Qubit is easy to learn, but it's also a powerful platform that will grow with you. For more experienced makers, we provide a library that allows you to control hardware directly. You can create custom blocks and even create your own smartware. Imagine if you could automate your home, add movement to your art project, or create a one-of-a-kind toy for your kids. What will you build with Qubit? We have a local manufacturer right here in the San Francisco Bay Area ready to go, and we're currently beta testing our prototype. We're ready to open the world of software and electronics to everyone. All we need is your help. Make a pledge, and we'll give you a Qubit. Join the growing community of creatives, makers, and MacGyvers. Thank you for your support. This is the internet, but not for you. For machines, devices, all sorts of things. With a real 32-bit microprocessor, fast 150 Mbps Wi-Fi, with a real Linux operating system, with internet class security and reliability. All that for only $10. Only consuming half a watt, only 1.6 square inches, this is Domino. Open hardware platform for Wi-Fi enabled things. Modular design and Arduino compatible. I'm Michel from the Domino team. I'm also a maker. Wi-Fi is the standard for the Internet of Things. However, all existing solutions are either too difficult to extend or are too expensive. This is why we designed Domino. Let's see what it can do. Domino is not just hardware, it is service. As a maker, you may have great ideas. However, many of these ideas cannot be transformed into real products. Not everyone can design a PCB for manufacturing and find the resources for mass production. And not everybody has the chance to demonstrate his ideas and be lucky enough to be enrolled world, in an incubator. But I need one million dollars. We provide life cycle support for makers from PCB design, purchasing, production, quality control, and eventually shipping your products directly to your users from our warehouse. So, you can just focus on designing your products and marketing them, and we do the rest for you. We make ideas, boom, into real products. Let me send my design to the Domino team and turn my project into reality. I'm Eric from Digistump. Three years ago, we started with the goal of making a cheap, tiny, easy-to-use development board. And with the help of over 6,000 supporters, we made the DigiSpark. Then we wanted to make internet-connected development boards more affordable. So we made the DigiSpark Pro and a Wi-Fi shield to go with it. But it still had limitations. Why does developing an internet-connected device have to be so expensive or complex? Today, we introduce the Oak by Digistump. The Oak is a tiny, cheap, Arduino-compatible Wi-Fi development board. It's high-performance, 32-bit, and it's compatible with over 25 existing DigiSpark Shield. But that's not all. It's a whole ecosystem aimed at making connected development easy and affordable. Oak is backed by the Root Cloud, 
the most advanced device cloud. Over there updates? Yeah, we have that. Wireless debugging, too. Point and click real time dashboards, a simple REST API, and an online IDE that puts it all in one place. Oak and the Root Cloud take you from concept to fully connected project faster, cheaper, and with more features than any existing development platform. From the moment you take it out of the box, the Oak makes connected development easy. Connect it to your network and start playing. No programming required. Ready for more? Jump on our truly Arduino-compatible online IDE and write some code. Hit upload, and without wires, it rapidly uploads to your Oak. You can even use Arduino serial-style debugging wirelessly right from the IDE. Use the dead simple root cloud cloud library and interact with your project from the IDE, the command line, or the REST API. Or build a real-time dashboard with no programming to display data from your device. Then share it. But the Internet of Things isn't just about real-time data. Root Cloud allows you to save, access, and explore past data as well. What was the temperature of your house last Thursday? Use the Data Explorer, Command Line, or REST API to find out. Oak in the Root Cloud is about bringing the Internet of Things to all of the things, and to everyone. It's open source, it's affordable, it's feature-rich, and it's here. So you can build that project you've dreamed of, like a set of smart home sensors, a Wi-Fi robot, a wireless barbecue monitor, or a portable Twitter stream. Back today to get yours and help us bring the Oak and the Root Cloud to production and help create the open source, affordable internet of all the things. Thank you. Ah, yes, modern technology. It's wonderful. We've got these robots cleaning our houses for us. Look at this one, from the chair to the lamp, and from the lamp to the uh, chair. And now back to the lamp. A... The medical world. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, like my grandma. She got an MRI scan. She's just down the hall. Second room on the left. Uh, or oh, another hallway. Or maybe to the right. And I'm pretty sure it was to the left. Ah! Oh, if only there was a way to position things. Hi, I'm Sam, and for the past five years, I've been doing research on indoor positioning. During those years, I realized that the positioning technologies today, like GPS, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, are simply not accurate enough for a lot of applications. That's why we need a new technology, and this is where UltraWideband comes in. This new technology is specifically designed for indoor positioning with centimeter accuracy. Together with my friends Kuhn and Vadim, we decided to make such a system ourselves. Introducing POSIX. POSIX is an elegant little board that provides accurate positioning and motion information. The system is Arduino compatible and with only a few lines of code, your Arduino robot or drone can know where it is and what it's looking at. Next to positioning, the system also allows wireless communication from one Arduino to another, so you can read out sensors, steer robots, or send other commands. POSIX is very similar to the GPS you have in your car. Like the GPS satellites in the sky, POSIX requires four little anchors to be put on walls. The POSIX board is what you will put on your robot or person to track it. Using the innovative ultra-wideband technology, it's 50 times more accurate than GPS. And don't worry about walls or obstructions, even in those situations, POSIX will still work. POSIX allows you to do some pretty amazing things, like navigate your robot through your house, make your house respond to your movement, or even track your cat. But to be honest, we're just curious to see what you will do with it. Our product is almost ready. Help us finish it. Back is on Kickstarter and we will bring this modern technology to your house.